Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In my last video, I showed you how to download the Audacity Fashion Studio. If you've not done so, please go ahead and watch that video. I will put the link below this video and I also put the link right here because you need to download the Audacity Fashion Studio to be able to follow me along in this video. In today's video, I'm actually going to tell you how to start with Audacity's Fashion Studio. We are going to be discussing all the menus that you see in Audacity's Fashion Studio, what they are used for, and how you can actually start using Audacity's Fashion Studio. When you open the icon on your computer, this is where it takes you to. So you just come here to start creating, and then it opens up here where you can see all the models that you can use. But that is how several models you can choose for. I have a video where I showed you how to create a model of yourself to be able to use on Audacity's Fashion Studio. I will also link that video right here and also below this video. That means you can either use any of these models here that Audacity already has, or you use your own uh, uploaded models. So go ahead and watch that video if you want to use your own model. But for this demonstration of how Audacity works, what every menu in Audacity is used for, I'm going to be using any of these models. So once you click on that, just click on any one that you like. Let me start with this female heels. And then you can click on the vector and choose them. You can decide to choose this. Whatever one you choose changes the color skin of the elevator. So once you've chosen any one that you like, you now go to OK. And that is the model you can use to do any style that you want. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you, talking about all the menus in Audacity, what you can use it for, and how you can actually use them to begin to create your very own designs. Stay tuned. The number one thing you need to know is that to use Audacity's Fashion Studio, you need to have a mouse. Right now, I'm using my um, laptop but I have attached a mouse to it. Then number two, the software currently, as I'm doing this video, this is April, 2024, it is free. So if you're really interested in learning how to do fashion, uh, fashion designs, 3D fashion designs digitally with a software, a simple to use software, then I think you should go ahead and uh, download this and follow me along. So let's start with the mouse. This is our model. So if you want to move your model in any direction, just press on the scrolling part of the mouse and then just shift it to any direction you want. So I've pressed the scrolling part of my mouse and I'm just shifting it. Now to, to turn your model in different directions, you press on the right side of your mouse and then turn it the way you want so i've pressed the right side of my mouse and i'm turning it the way i want now here you have all different basic designs that Audacity has like you have a basic dress you have a blazer you have a bumper you have a dress a line these are where you can get simple dresses and start from there to design you can decide to do that or you can just decide to design directly on your models. And to get any design, all you have to do is to click on it. So once you click on it, you download it. You download it and then you double click for it to be on top of that. So if we want to do that, like I click on OK. So right now it's downloading. It has downloaded a basic dress. So if I want this basic dress to be on my this model, I will just double click it and then it will come on my model. It's as simple as that. 
So you can start with this dress, maybe to create different dresses, V-neck, maybe change the hands to a regan sleeve or make it longer. Whatever you want to do with this, you can start with that. So let me go back and let me remove this. So let's come to the menus. You have the home menu, you have the creation menu, application menu, ambience menu. You have here a mesh menu where you, if you want to add another dress on top of the dress you have on the man mannequin, that has its usefulness. As I continue to upload videos, you know how this can be used. If you come to the file menu and you click on it, here you can create a new file. If you want to create a new mannequin, here you can open a file that you already have. Here you can import a mannequin. This is what I used in the last video that I told you how to create your own 3D and upload it or import it onto Odysseus. So this is where you use, if you have your own 3D already prepared, and then you import it in an in a particular form, FBX form. I explained all that in that video. So you can go ahead and watch that video. Here you can import your garments in OBX form to whatever garments you feel you want to import into Audacity. Here you save your work and all that. And here you can ex export your pattern once you finish designing, designing it. You can export it. There are different ways to uh, export it. You can export it as an image, export it to your clipboard, you can also export it as patterns, which is something we are, I'm going to use and do a video on how you can actually transform your 3D to sewable 2D patterns. So now we are done with the file. Let's continue with home. If you click on the home, you have several things here. Here you have your garment library. If you click it, the same garment comes out that I just removed. If you want to access your garments, go home again. Here you want to show symmetry. Why do you do symmetry? If I click on that, see this that comes on the, on the, on my model. This symmetry helps you when you're doing a design on one side of the body it automatically creates the same design on the other part of the body. That is the essence of symmetry. Apart from here, you can also get symmetry down here. It's the same thing right here. It's also symmetry. Once you click on it, it does the same thing. As you see, I clicked on it and the symmetry is gone. I can click on it again and the symmetry comes back. So as I said, it is always best to use this if you want to do any kind of design so that the design will, will replicate itself on the other side of your model. So let's go on to creation. This is where you have all the tools that you want to use to do all the designs in Audacity's Fashion Studio. I am not going to go through this creation tools. I'm going to create a video specifically to show you how to use Audacity's creation tools. Because if I'm to do this, the video will be too long. And from my experience, when it comes to learning things like this, especially somebody that is not used to it, it is not good to give so much information at once. At least today you've learned a few things about what you get if you click on the file, what you get if you click on home. I've talked about the symmetry. I've talked uh, show, to show guidelines. There's not much you can do with that. And then the system preference, if you click on it, if you want to change the measurements of your mannequin, this is where you can do it. You can change it to meters. You can change it to centimeters. Bear in mind that when you do change this, measurements your patterns will be in that measurement so it's better you leave it either in inches or you leave it in centimeters for your mannequin
So let's still go back home. And then if you want to know so much about uh, Odysseus, there is this knowledge base here. Remember, we are still on the home tab. I'm going to the home tab. So I think it's better for me to go to the home tab. In my next video, which will be part two, we'll now go to the creation tab. So this year is the home tab. And under the home tab, you can also have a knowledge base. I'll come back to that. And then you have a runway. You know, you can see your creation after creating it, the way it looks on a runway. And this is how you can also open your show room. If you, you've downloaded Audacity, you need to also download the showroom. It's very easy. Once you watch my video on how to download Audacity, and you have all these menu icons on the home video, you will see where you can just download the showroom. It's very easy to download the showroom, and then it will show you how your uh, mannequin will look like in the show room if you want to learn everything step by step how to use audacity you have a knowledge base right here and this is where i i read everything that i'm teaching you everything is here once you click on it it takes you back to where you use your email that you use to open it and then you log in so once you log in there you have all that you need to learn how to use Audacity Fashion Studio. You have a lot of tutorials. You have a lot of uh, um, videos, like look at knowing the Audacity Fashion video. You start here, Audacity Fashion Studio, sorry. You start here, shows you videos on how you can create 3D fashion styles with Audacity fashion studio so everything is here for you everything everything is here so once you get here if you want to listen to everything in english just scroll down here and then change it to english you can change it to english me i've already changed it to english that is why it's showing me other languages so once you change it to english you'll be able to go through all this that you need to go through so i've come to the end of the part one of this video where i've shown you how to actually start understanding audacity fashion studio stay tuned for my part two where i'm going to take you through how you can use audacity fashion um, Audacity's creation tools, how you can use Audacity's creation tools to actually create your 3D fashion styles. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my part two.